So if you have any questions about what we've gone over in any of the files thus far, or any of the objects that we've gone over thus far, let's drop them into the um, questions box. And, and we'll start to look for some repeating themes, and we'll address those uh, together. So take a second and go ahead and um, enter any questions you might have into that, and we'll um, respond. All right, so um, there are a couple questions about relative item, right? And that's just the, uh, the single uh, offset within a data tree. Okay, so let's go back to the other file where we are working with relative item. The way this works is if we notice that, um, let's say, let's look over here, 2, 1, actually further, right here, 4, 3, Five, three. That defines, again, 4A is our column and B is our row. So 4353, five, 54, three, five, and 44. So if you just think about these four points and none of the others that were, are visible, these are the uh, paths for where these points are stored. Right? So in this case, um, we want to relate items across the data tree as they're stored. So the, the way to relate 4, 3, and 5, 4 is to say, give me the original item and give me one item that is one index greater in the rows, which would be B, and one value that's greater than A, which is the columns. So if you add 1 to 4 and 3, you would get 5 and 4. So the relative item allows us to connect the original, every original item and the corresponding offset only by navigating through the data tree, right? By doing a simple manipulation um, query to these A and B values, right? So the offset value has to, the offset combo here, is going to give us the, we have to have it in the format that our data structure is in. That's why we simplified it. So if we go 1, 1, we go from here to here. If we go 0, 1, we go from here to here. And in this case, that's what we're getting. We're getting, and we can bake it to verify, we're getting one line segment here and one line segment here. Okay. So the other kind of aspect of what we are doing with the relative item is that let's say we actually wanted to start to connect a number of points, right? Let's say I wanted to walk through this grid from here to here to here to here and back, right? So instead of a polyline, or sorry, a line segment, I want a polyline as a result. So if we just use this relative item object in this manner, what we're going to, what we're going to do is only um, create little line segments, right? But let's say we actually want a closed polyline. In that case, what we want to do is specify the offsets relative to the original for every one of the new points we want to use. So if I start at 4.3, how do I get to 4.3? What would be the offset in, to get to 4.3 from 4.3? Any ideas? To go from 4.3 to 4.3, there's no offset. You guys got it. Zero, zero. To get from 4.3 to 5.3, what do I specify? Well, one, zero. To get from 4.3 to 5.5, what do I specify? One, Sorry, 1, 2. So this should be 1, 1. 
So to go from here to here, 4, 3 to 5, 4, that's 1, 1. To go from 4, 3 to 5, 5, that's 1, 2. To go back to 4, 4 from 4, 3, that's 0, 1. All right, now this kind of looks funky because what it's doing is drawing the line from the original to all of the new ones. So I'll turn the preview off because in this case what we're going to do is we actually only want to use B. So if I drop uh, curve, spline, polyline in, and I hit close, set Boolean to true, now I have a closed quad. So I can, well, I can define any grid I want by walking through a simple square grid. Right? I can make a hexagon if I went from here to here to here to here to here to here and back. Right? And so instead of just a single line segment, we're getting a closed polyline. So anytime you want to panelize a surface, anytime you want to create a pattern, a specific pattern, you can use the data structure as a way to actually relate points within the grid through simple offsets, right? So all we had to do is solve this for one panel, we'll call this, and every time it worked. So that's the relative item. One other person um, asked about WP and WI. If I had a cylinder, if this was on a cylinder and I wanted to wrap so that the, the grid continued to the other side, I could use All trues or falses, boolean toggle, and boots here to define whether or not it should wrap. In my case, I just have a simple plane, so I want them to be default false. Each of all the coordinates of this freaking point. You you screw one thing up. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, okay. I have two numbers right there. Each one of these. So another uh, question, uh, and this was our um, <laughs> one dash. So I, I did. I did it wrong. I didn't tell. 